What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over the specifics of the buffs and nerfs. Uh, big shout out to Cerebi.net, they actually have the patch information uh, on their website. I will link this in the description, so there you guys go. But anyways, we're going to be talking about the buffs and nerfs in specific, uh, the numbers and everything that's going to be going on with each one. So uh, this is going to be a little bit different than last video. Last video was just like them telling us, hey... These characters are getting buffed and nerfed. This is what's going to happen in a general sense. And this is more so the specifics of what's going on. So Charizard, cooldown reduction. His previous was 7 seconds. It's now 5.5 seconds on his flamethrower. Effects on opposing Pokemon increase. So that's going to be like the fire damage, the tick damage, I assume. Uh, fire punch, the effects on the opposing Pokemon are increased as well. Fire Blast cooldown reduction from 11 seconds to 8 seconds. And then Fire Blast effects are strengthened as well. So, I think this was a really good buff on him, going to be honest. They buffed three different moves. Um, just all around the board, Charizard got buffed. Really, really nice, honestly. Moving on to Talon Flame. Acrobatics, the damage dealt got increased. And it got increased by, like, 700 points. Or 700... Uh, increase 750 something around there 750 or so but that is a lot of damage increase by the way um aerial ace damage i don't think the it says damage increase but we don't see the old number it just says the new number i guess and then aerial ace plus um it shows damage increase from 1000 to 1200 35 so uh just a little bit of extra damage on that and then fly damage is increased by 600 as well so they are doing some pretty massive buffs already if you look <laughs> if you look at venusaur this is like the first one that's like huge venusaur sludge bomb um uh, well i mean i guess i guess this one's pretty huge actually acrobatics damage increase anyway sludge bomb increased by 500 uh which is really nice the effects is strengthened as well Pedal Dance moves effects increased. Don't really know what that means. Solar Beam cooldown went from 11 seconds to 10 seconds. And then Unite move, the damage dealt, went from 2,000 to 2,600. Now, I've always thought Venusaur's Unite move was not super crazy, got to be honest. So, I mean, the damage increase is nice. Now, this is like... I this Venusaur needed it. Talonflame needed it. Charizard needed it. I cannot agree with this buff. Absol, basic attack, bug fixes, cool. Night Slash, damage dealt increased by 300. Sucker Punch, damage dealt increased by 600. Well, 560 or whatever. Now, I'm pretty sure these are not the two moves that people went. I think they went the other two moves. So I guess this is buffing those moves to make people want to go this moves. But... I don't think I don't think he needed a buff really at all. He might he's probably gonna get a lot of shine in the next coming days or weeks or whatever because of this buff. Who knows? But we'll see. Wiggly tough dog. The, the, uh, the HP base HP level one stays the same. Base HP goes from eight thousand to nine thousand four hundred. So they basically made her made Wigglytuff scale better. So at end game, fourteen hundred extra HP, fourteen hundred fifty. But yeah, so um, basically Wigglytuff is going to scale better into the game. Defense um, level one is gone up by fifty, and then level fifteen it's gone up by three hundred. So not only will you start better, you will scale better as well. Looking at the special defense, it starts at eighty, so it's up by fifty, and then. Um, into the late game why is it so much that's like a three oh well i mean they're all 300 increases i guess it's not that much anyways like 340 increase so obviously once again going to scale better into the late game double slap damage dealt increased 352 per hit now it's 438 per hit cool effects on opposing pokemon strengthen seeing effects on opposing pokemon strengthen dazzling gleam gets a bug fix so there you go Eldegoss. Now, y'all know I'm excited for this. Cotton Guard. Cooldown lengthened. So, it's 7 seconds, and now it's it's up to 9 seconds. So, it's a 2-second increase on the shield. That's not even that's not super bad. Um, and I actually run Shell Bell, which I know most people run, like, Focus Band. But I run Shell Bell because I'm more of a... I play Eldegoss offensively. Um, 
that item gives you cooldown reduction anyway. So this is probably going to be about 8.5 seconds or something like that for me. Uh, I think something like that. It's not going to be nine. But anyways, so um, I mean, it's not going to be that bad. I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, HP restoration decrease. They don't tell you the numbers, but uh, I'm pretty sure this scales with level. So that's why they can't tell you the numbers because it technically changes, I guess. But um, so the shield, right? The shield is not decreased. It's just the HP you get back after the shield is decreased. So, I mean, it's still pretty fine, right? Cooldown reduced on Cotton Spore, which no one uses. It's reduced by two and a half seconds. That's actually pretty good. And then the effects on opposing Pokemon strengthen. This move's defense, special defense increase has been strengthened. It doesn't tell you the numbers. And then Unite move, the HP, um, the heal that it gives is decreased as well. Doesn't really tell you the numbers because it scales. Um, overall, the nerf is not that bad. The buff is kind of and too because no one's going to be going Cotton Sport. Now, Cotton Sport does have a knockup, but that over the shield and healing to the team is... I don't know. Maybe maybe Eldegoss becomes uh, an offensive support, so you run like Leaf Tornado, Cotton Spore, and you just you know knock enemies up, you know all of that. Maybe that's what it, what you know they run to. I, I'm I'm probably gonna test this out for sure. Um, see how it feels. See what it's looking like. Maybe, who knows? This might become the meta build. People might start rocking Shell Bell. They they might go crazy. Who knows? Um, you're still going to run XP share and then uh, Buddy Barrier. Those are 100% on the on the character. Um, outside of that, it's debatable. Uh, moving on to Cinerase, stat decrease. So base attack, level 1 is decreased, and then scaling attack is decreased. This is a very fair nerf. He was overtuned. He was He's he's 1v1-ing any character in the game early. Um, scaling into the late game, he's 1v1-ing any character as long as he pra plays properly. Like, nah, he was just too good. Uh, down 200 damage. This is a fair but nerf too. Uh, everyone went blaze kick, and the fact that blaze kick gives you so much utility, it shouldn't do near as much damage. Faint activation time and movement speed increase reduced. So the activation time means basically the frame at which it activates, right? So say I press it, and it used to activate on frame 10. Now it activates on frame 15. Something like that. That's like what this is. Um, and then movement speed increased is also reduced, so you're not as fast. Um, pyro ball damage dealt increased. Um, 1600 before calculation. What? Damage dealt increased. 1618 before cal stat cal recalculation. Oh, this is before the nerf. Okay. And this is 1563 after the, the stat recalculation. So the damage to pyro ball is increased, but it's it's technically lower because of the nerf so they didn't nerf pyro ball technically okay uh anyway gengar bug fixes damage dealt to opposing pokemon increased this is fine because shadow ball no one runs it uh it's cool hex move downgrade so the damage dealt is decreased by 200 and the invulnerability frames is reduced as well that was the biggest thing, right? A lot of people talk about the damage. A lot of people talk about the combo. The combo didn't really matter near as much as the invulnerability. And the reason why I say that is because people would see Gengar. They'd throw out their stun or their knockup or whatever, and he would teleport. And once he teleports, he's invulnerable. The window at how long he was invulnerable would allow him to not get hit by any of the moves. So the fact that they dropped that is actually really good. Um, so that's really nice. Move speed increase on Dream Eater. Cool, thanks. Zara, Spark, bug fixes, which I already talked about this. Um, whenever you jump with Spark, you're supposed to be able to, if you attack, you'll jump back to the enemy. He could he could only do that on like the first one, guaranteed. And then the second one, it would never happen. And then third, it happens sometimes or something like that. So I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Wild charge, damage dealt increased. That's a nice buff because no one ever runs that. Wild charge damage or cooldown changed. Why would they they nerf the, the damage? No one runs it. Okay, no one's gonna ever pick this move anyway. So this 200 damage increase this, with the cooldown nerf, like no one's gonna run it, so it doesn't even matter. Um, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon uh, decreased. Oh, on the ultimate by 400. Okay, that's fair, right? Um, Cramorant damage dealt decreased. Nice, thank you. 
600, I'll take it. Because this was, uh, boy, Whirlpool was doing too much damage. And then a uh, dive damage increase. Cool. Machamp, bug fixes. Cross chop damage. Oh my goodness. They dropped that man's damage by 400. Interesting. Close combat damage increase, which no one's running this. No one cares. Close combat does that much damage? It must be a multi-hit move. There's no way it does this damage on one hit. Um, cross chop does a lot of damage, by the way. So, And this is just like base numbers. This isn't factoring in, you know, items, level, etc. Like everything. It's not factoring in everything. Um, Lucario, bug fix, bug fix, bug fix, bug fix. There you guys go. So that's all the bug fixes and everything like that. Um, there you guys go. Um, anyways, so that is all the numbers and everything like that as far as, you know, the characters and stuff. Uh, I'm I'm very satisfied. This is honestly a borderline perfect patch, in my opinion, as far as, like, a patch could go, right? I have a lot of experience in other MOBAs. Um, so, like, looking at those patches compared to these patches, like I said, especially for a first patch, this just is, like, very, very solid. They, they nerfed a lot of the top tiers. They buffed a lot of the bottom tiers. It, it, it's, it's looking good from here, right? I, the game has potential to be big. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.